Hello everyone, Fountain Pen's writing here with a new Fountain Pen review. Today we are going to take a look at a Japanese pen, in my opinion too underrated, the Pilot Justice 95. Let's start. The pen comes in this unique box, at least by Pilot standard. This box is made only for the Justice 95. You can see the logo and the name on the sleeves and when you take them off there is the same look and text on the box as well. When you open the box inside there is the pen. Underneath there is a black Pilot cartridge and using a guide specific for this particular model. Now let's take a look at the pen. The Pilot Justice 95 is a fountain pen with a nib tension adjuster. We will take a look at it in a minute. The name Justice comes from Adjust and Has, and 95 indicates how old the company Pilot was when it launched this model. It was introduced in 2013 and is a reissue of the original Justice model released in the 80s. This pen is a medium sized pen made of black resin with gold plated trim. It has a flat top shape and on the top and bottom there is a small black disc and a gold plated ring. The clip has a particular shape, it looks like a sword and there is a nice engraving on it. The cap angles up until this double band. The biggest one is raised and shows Pilot Japanese on one side and Justice 95 on the other. There is a small step down to the barrel, which is straight up to this point, and then it tapers down slightly. At least when I bought this pen, there were two types of textures for the Justice, the wavy lines and the one with normal straight lines pattern. I chose the first one for me. The cup twists off in one turn and a quarter, revealing this 14K gold adjustable nib. As you can see, there is a, this little tension bar on the top of the nib, which has Pilot Japan engraved on one side and F for fine with 14K 585 to indicate the amount of gold on the other side. The nib is a number 10 with the Japanese standard, meaning that is it is just a little bigger than the number 5 western nib, but it is smaller than the number 6. And here we have the classic pilot plastic feed. I think that you can choose two types of nib, fine or medium, but maybe there is a third one, fine medium. On this very long section you can see the tension adjuster and the letter H for hard and S for soft. For taking the adjuster would allow the tension bar to extend or retract, making the nib stiffer or softer. This grooved tension adjuster is not very comfortable and I've noticed that my finger gets sore with prolonged use, especially if I apply pressure to the nib in soft mode. And at the end of the section we have another gold plated ring. Unscrewing the barrel reveals the metal section and the proprietary pilot converter called CON70 included with the pen. This converter is a pump converter and draws ink by pumping on this knob. The ink capacity is larger than the standard international converter, but it is really a pain to clean. Now we can make a comparison with other two fountain pens. The Justice 95 is a medium size pen, here compared with the Platinum 3776 and the Pilot Custom H3. Uncapped, the pen is longer than the Platinum. The pen can be posed deeply and securely, it remains balanced when writing. Writing with this pen in soft or hard mode gives two different writing experience. In soft mode you get a fairly juicy nib, not too wet, just the right amount 
and you will notice that the nib bounces a bit even without pressure. In hard mode, the nib is much drier and the line is slightly smaller. It's perfect when used on cheap paper, but it sends more feedback than in soft mode. At least, this is my experience with this F nib. What about the flex of this nib? Well, I think it is not designed to write scripts like copper plate, but to allow artists to draw to vary their line for thinner shadows or sharper strokes. Of course, you can try to write English cursive by applying pressure, but the nib is not the softest and you end up turning your hand very quickly and eventually it will railroad. As always, for all my writing samples, I use the Waterman Blue to get a consistent comparison between the nibs to see if they are dry or wet. In soft mode, this nib is perfect balanced, not too wet or too dry, and leaves a western extra fine line on the paper. In hard mode, it becomes dry, leaving an extra extra fine line. Applying pressure, you get a little bit of line variation, but even in soft mode, it is the last soft nib I own. In hard mode, there is no sense to push the nib. If you want to draw for line variation, just use it in soft mode. This is the typical Japanese pen, elegant, understated, perfectly designed. Clip, bend and shape gives the pen an interesting overall look, especially with this particular texture on the resin. Tolerances are minimal, the pen is well balanced, even posted. Not the fanciest pen in the world, but a perfect example of serious and elegant fountain pen. What I don't like about this pen is this grooved tension regulator on the section. As I said, it is not very comfortable during a long writing section, at least for me. In the USA you can buy the pen for just over $300, while in Europe this sold for around €250, Euros, excluding VAT. I paid about €230, VAT included, for this model and I am satisfied with it. Maybe one day I will learn to draw and use this pen as the right tool. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please consider leaving a thumb up. For the next review, we will take a look at the Lamy Safari Black. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you won't miss that video. See you soon.